I like this exchange though. <laughs> <laughs> I usually have a nice exchange, maybe I'll get the sun. Anyway, it's a nice facility you have here. I mean, I've been here from afternoon and it seems quite busy. What's special about this place? Oh, lovely. It's one of uh, the best we have around here okay. and the whole of the other state. Mm -hmm. um, when I agree with me, that is so fascinating, so yes. lovely. Yeah. And um, the landscaping, mm -hmm. very excellent. Yeah. It's, um, it's a state of an art um, facility. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pardon me, guys. So I'm here at Fountainhead Resort. For me, from my experience so far, the most luxurious hotel in Ikala, that one is for sure. But for Delta State, I'll probably have to investigate, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the top up there and even across Nigeria. This is not a joke. I know what I'm saying is people who think, oh, he's just saying it because it's in Kalam. Trust me, I'm not just saying it because it's in Kalam. I've experienced this a bit. I've been in hotels around the world, maybe it's one of the top hotels in the world. I have stayed in them. And I can assure you, my experience so far is definitely up there. I haven't slept yet though, so I'll sleep on the bed overnight. And then tomorrow, I'll also tell you guys how comfortable the bed was and all that kind of stuff. So at the moment I'm saying it's up there, by tomorrow I'll be able to tell you if it's definitely up there. But right here with me is um, the very welcoming gentleman who I'll let, I'll let him introduce himself um, and then we'll go from there. Thank you very much. My name is Nestor Izuo. Uh, I am the general manager of Fountainhead Resorts um, here in uh, Ikaland. And um, it's great to have you around. Thank you. Yes, you said you've not slept in the room, so I bet you that uh, you sure wouldn't want to wake up, but you're not dying. <laughs> but then the, the facilities are so luxurious. You will enjoy it. That's good. Thank That's you very much. So, obviously, it's a privilege to be sitting down here with the general manager. If I had not been sitting with the general manager, maybe I would have put on a tie and, you know, I'd be more, more, more corporate. But uh, he was very welcome in all the same. So, how long have you been? Have you been here? Well, we've been here uh, for the past nine months. Nine then, months. Uh, yes, uh, the uh, governor, mm -hmm. His Excellency Dr. Ifai Okowa, mm -hmm. was uh, here on December 24th. Okay. Two years to commission. Oh, so he commissioned his place for myself. He did serve his wife. He came with his wife. Exactly. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's the worst thing. But it's good to see that you know the government himself is supporting right. something like, like this. Okay, so do you know how it came about? What led to, I mean, something like this, I know that a lot of money must have been spent here. Yeah. Yeah. The owner could have put this anywhere else. Yeah. He could have put it in Lagos, in Asaba, in Abuja, in Abuja, in Port Harcourt, in kind of quotes, yeah. big cities. Exactly. But he chose to put it here. Can you tell us kind of the story behind that? Why, 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 or why? <laughs> Well, very simple, not far fetched. Uh, the uh, chairman, um, uh, Prince Collins Meleque, is a uh, son of the soil and um, a bona fide son of the Kalan. He decided to bring this facility down here uh, because he's from this place. So it's, it's, it's to him, it's giving back to the society. Okay. Yes, yeah, exactly. Giving back to his home. His roots. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. His roots. Yeah. Yeah. And just like you said, he could have started this in some other big cities, but he decided to bring it home. Mm -hmm. You know, those things that he enjoyed overseas, to bring it home to create uh, job opportunities, you know, create development in this environment. For instance, he brought electricity here. You know, brought, brought uh, development around here. So this place and was like in many darkness. You no, know, exactly. It was a bush. It was a wow. bush. Yeah, exactly. So he has brought a whole lot of development in this place. You can see when you wake up in the road has been touched. Yes, I saw that. It's also yes. called Chaka. Exactly. <laughs> and security wise, too. In the whole area here, well secure. Mm. I'll show you on that. Mm. We have, you know, top um, um, security personnel around here. So, these are the things that uh, has actually made him bring this business here down to this place. It's really amazing that he's decided to, like I said, he could have done this anywhere else and probably even made money, more money, you know, because there's a bigger population in so much. Like you said, he decided to bring it to his own town. Wow. Well, just by citing this here, not only has he brought employment, but sometimes there are still people working here, so lots and lots of people. Do you know how many people have been there? Of course, we're very hungry staff. Over 100 yes, staff. Yes, it's so big. Yes, so massive. Wow. 
He yeah. had like over 100 people. Yeah. Directly employed here. Yeah. Yeah. And guys, when they say 100 people are employed, that is almost tantamount to 500. Don't forget, exactly. with each person, they have a mom, they have a dad, they have dependents, yeah. and they just kind of spread that. So, this is really I'm amazed. I'm yeah. amazed. I'm amazed. Yeah. Wow. How many rooms do you have here? We have 15 apartments. 15 apartments in total. It's a combination of three bedrooms, two yeah. bedrooms, and single rooms apartments. Oh, wow. wow. That's really good. So, there's the employment, there's the security, the medium, the bit more exactly. secure. It's got lights everywhere, shining. And most importantly, we have uh, conference facilities. Okay. Yes, we have two conference halls, and then the bigger one can take 750 persons, okay. and then the second one can take 500 persons. Wow. So, people can do weddings here, anniversaries, seminars, symposium, you know, whatever. Sometimes people want to do parties, they want to go to Lagos, they want to go to here, go because, oh, maybe no good hall or this or that. It's here now. We've already come here. It's here now. So you don't need to travel, you don't need to guess. You can come and do it here. Exactly. There's this thing about maintenance. We build some things sometimes, yeah. whether it's a hotel, whether it's a restaurant, whatever it is, whether it's road, whatever. But within a few years, those things start to depreciate. Like it just of course, spoils. That's the word. That's the word. And yes. And then because we don't maintain it, we don't see the happiness maintenance culture. This place now is nine months old. Exactly. So in five years time, how will it be? Alright, as I said earlier, this is a legacy project. So it's not for it's not really for uh, for game making uh, purposes. Okay. So one of the tasks I have as a general manager is on the maintenance. And we have a very good maintenance culture. Going around, I guess you've seen that we recently painted a hotel of nine months. I see that. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, and it's a white building. Mm -hmm. So, any dent on it, we repent. But that's on the painting. Every other facility we have here are under the maintenance. Every other. Wow. The generating set has just been changed because since we came here, there was no electricity on the now. Mm -hmm. So, everything is a culture, there's a timetable for every maintenance of the hotel. Wow. So, as, uh, going back to your question, in five years, I assure you, you're still going to see it newer than it is today. Wow, that's that the word I wanted to hear, yeah. like routine maintenance. So when you're speaking, you, you speak like someone who is very exposed, someone who knows what they're talking about. And like you said, is your, that is like one of your key roles to yeah. ensure that the quality is maintained. Yeah. So if you don't mind, what did you do before this role? Okay, um, I've come a long way in the industry, over two decades of experience, over two decades. Exactly. and then managing facilities too. So, um, colleagues and myself have come a long way, yes, and um, um, I've had my experience internationally and uh, you know, uh, locally. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the last job was in Abuja, mm -hmm. okay, so where I came from to this place, mm -hmm. and then uh, just yesterday, Saturday, um, Friday, I was having a chat to the uh, um, a business person who came to this country that was like, Are you sure you're well paid here? And I said, It's not about the payment, it's about we try to create a name, mm. try to, you know, like I say, it's a legacy project. Mm. So we've come a long way and come with a vast of experience. Mm. So we try to put things on the ground. Okay, that's really, really good. And another thing is, we have someone who himself has said, the maintenance. I mean, I'm saying how many this maintenance because it's very, yeah. it's very, very close to my heart. Not just to my heart. I know that for those of you watching, it's close to their hearts as well. So, Mr. Nesto is telling us that is his key responsibility. Sure. So, guys, if you come here and you see that maintenance is going down, yeah, hold me responsible. I, I hold <laughs> me responsible. Hold me responsible. But we're not going to fail you. I assure you, we're not going to fail you. It's up, up we go. Okay, okay. I believe you because you speak with a lot of confidence and a lot of maturity. So, yeah. so I believe you. And we're here to encourage you as well because we know that sometimes it's the guests that make it difficult. Some guests make it difficult. Um, ultimately, obviously, it's your job. But yeah. I also want to encourage everybody if you're watching this, when you come here, please add to the maintenance of the place. Let's not come and want to spoil it. And then before you leave the room, you destroy something, furniture, you leave things. No, 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 no. We all have a role to play. This is our own. This is our own. If we spoil it, then which one will you have? 
So guys, I want to employ you just as Mr. Nesto is, is guaranteeing us that he will work hard to ensure that this place is maintained. We as guests, because I know that people around here in data state and stuff will be in the majority part of the guests. Sure. We also have to ensure that we support uh, the management here to maintain this place because it's our own. I mean, we're going to be sleeping here. If you feel yeah. like you sleep here, you feel good and then you feel refreshed. You don't have to travel all the way or start thinking, oh, I can't go home because I have nowhere to stay. This is the place to stay now. No, no running away again. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's been nice. It's been nice chatting to you. So, yeah. I had a, a mini for earlier on where, you know, we checked the facilities. Like you said, you have two halls. Yeah. So, people can come here and do events. Yeah. I see that you have the VIP lounge. Yeah. Very cozy environment. I noticed the artwork everywhere. Yeah. It seems to have this African thing. Yeah. And it makes me feel very much at home when I'm saying at work. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And and obviously you you I guess while you're looking at them, you also um guessing their their what? Yes. Those those cost fortune. Wow. Those cost fortune I tell you. You know, so like I said, um the owner has really invested money here mm. to bring this international quality yes. you know. Oh. It's not easy because it started from scratch. Like exactly. you said, it was push. Exactly. So you have to yeah. start from scratch. Exactly. Wow, wow, wow. He's really done a great job. If you have any last words for the viewer, our audience spread across the world, majority of them will be Ika people. But for this video, we are aiming to reach everybody. This hotel is not just open to Ika people. Yeah. Everybody is welcome here. Even the gym here is not. And a car person. <laughs> but we're going to give him a car passport. So oh <laughs> I'm going to give him a car passport so he will be he's, he's automatically one of us. Exactly. Everyone is welcome here. Yeah, sure. Ambo is a centrally located place. I mean from Lagos you are going to the east if you're going by road. In fact, most likely you are going to go through Ambo. Exactly. Most likely you are going exactly. to go through um Urumi Junction exactly. towards Asaba exactly. or Mecha and then the Yes. Exactly. So maybe you are traveling and maybe it's, uh, it's become too late or you want to sleep over. Yeah. This is the place, like you don't need to look for. Just come straight. You do have a website, right? Sure we do. Okay. Yeah. One can make booking on the website. Exactly. You can go on the website. Someone can also call some people like yeah. that. Yeah. Also call make a reservation. Okay. Just drive here, the road is very good. Yeah. There's street lights, yeah. just come here and then stop by there. You don't need to be coming from Lagos or Abuja and then traveling in the middle of the night. Relax yourself, man. Eh? Talk your money small. Yes, come sir. here, relax. That's fountain head research. Yes, fountain head research. You, you mm -hmm. just come and relax here. Mm -hmm. So any last words for you from you um in that to us to our viewers or generally about fountain head research? Go ahead, please. Alright. Thank you viewers, thank you everyone uh, for your time with us. Um, as a general manager, I welcome you to Fountain Head Resorts. Um, it's a home away from home where we treat you to the best hospitality services. I guarantee you, you're going to be wow. Security wise and facility wise, service, service wise, I assure you, you're going to enjoy your stay with us. Please book a date with us. Thank you for staying with us. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for being a fantastic host. And I wish you all the best in your journey. Obviously, this is a journey, like yes. you said. Okay. It's a project you've been back on. Mm -hmm. uh, my prayer is that you will not regret taking on this. And the vision you are sharing with the owner, you know, your relationship will continue to work stronger. And you will deliver that good thing you've said you're going to deliver. So we are praying for you and we're wishing you all the best. Thank, thank you so very much. much. I appreciate the time. All right, no worries at all. All right, thank you.